so this here is a pie chart which will show you which subject you need to study for INI CET. So in this pie chart you can see the major chunk is occupied by pathology at 11% which amounts to 22 questions. Then there's surgery with 8.5 that is 17 questions, medicine with 9.5 that is 19 questions. Pharmacology is surprisingly quite high at 7% with 14 questions and then we can see that amongst the other subjects OBG occupies 16% uh, 8% that is 16 questions apart from that rest all of the subjects are in the range of 3 to 6 or 7% uh, with microbiology and physiology at 7% with 14 questions each pediatrics with 10 questions uh, then we also have community medicine with 11 questions so this is one of the contrasts between uh, NEET PG and INICT with respect to community medicine in NEET PG you will expect a lot more questions from community medicine whereas in INICT the number of questions from community medicine are slightly on the lower side whereas uh, the short subjects like ENT of Thalm are not been given uh, a lot of weightage in INICT uh, let me show you this data in the form of a bar diagram. So you can see this. In this bar diagram, you can see the ones crossing 10. There's physiology, uh, pathology, then uh, medicine, surgery, pediatrics, and OBG. So you can draw one inference that uh, you need to know your uh, final year subjects well to score well but also you you must pay attention to your first year subjects like anatomy, physiology, uh, biochemistry and uh, the weightage that you give for ENT, ophthalm, dermatology, psychiatry can be slightly lesser and you can only pay attention to high yield topics in these subjects but uh, this uh, this data is also a slightly deceptive as from this data you may draw an inference that you need to pay the most attention to medicine but it's also a fact that medicine is a vast subject so it takes a long time to study medicine so the yield that you might get by spending a certain amount of time in medicine may be much lower than the yield you, that you will get by putting the same amount of time in surgery. So you need, you need to make your own inference and I'll be making some other videos on uh, other forms of data so that you'll get a more clearer picture of how much time you have to spend for each subject. Yeah. So thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.